on the potatoes back here are starting to die off which is telling me either they're not happy anymore or they need to be harvested so my plan is to harvest these and then store them I'm actually really excited for the potatoes in this garden and also to weed it because I had a little dig through the other day over on this side and there's some really big potatoes in there so I might show you guys that Look at that. These are little ones, but there were big ones, I promise. My tomato garden here, I put a lot of our homemade compost into this garden when I planted it out, but our compost wasn't quite ready yet. So it was still really full of carbon. And I feel that that's really been affecting the tomato growth and the garlic growth in this garden bed. The soil hasn't broken down yet, so it needs more finished compost on top to help it break it down a bit faster. So today I'll be amending this garden bed, adding some more finished off compost from the store and then covering it up with wood chips again and hopefully that boosts the growth of the tomatoes in this garden. You can see as well that because we had cold compost for a lot of the time with the chickens digging through, there's a lot of weeds in this. So it's going to be a great opportunity just to start clean. This garden bed as well, which has had a lot of my radishes, my carrots, and before that it had my broccoli, is looking pretty sad. The straw is breaking into the soil, but it really needs some love. So I'm going to remove the top cover, fluff up the soil, add some more organic matter, and then cover it up again so that it's full of nutrients ready for the summer crops. Oh my gosh, I don't think my list of things to do has ever been this full. Most of these little radishes are either done or overdone, just like this one that has split from either too much water or just too much growing. So I think I'm going to pick the last of the radishes here. Plenty of delicious radishes for our salads. This is something I'm super excited about. Check out my onion. It is doing so well. Every new season, I'm devastated that I didn't plant more. Look at how many onions I planted this time round. That is so not enough. And now that I see they grow well, I'm devastated that that's all that I planted. My thought with this garden though is to turn it into a bit of a perennial herb kind of garden. So I've put the rhubarb in here, the parsley, I've got chives, sage, perennial leeks as well from Anne. She's just the most beautiful person. She's so, so thoughtful. And I think that all of these kinds of greens definitely just need to be pulled out. I love flowers, but I don't love these kinds of flowers in my garden. <laughs>
Masha. Also, don't think I updated you guys on the Fajoa tree situation. I definitely updated people on Instagram, but our Fajoa tree, which if you remember last season, I pruned this big olive tree, which was literally just covering the Fajoa tree. You can see here too, I actually ended up tying up all of the branches because they were just spread out trying to seek sunlight. But now I've tied it up, it's starting to grow up. It's so happy, it's got plenty of flowers and hopefully lots of fajal fruits coming this summer. Oh yes, of course, and the fig trees. Plenty of leaves, plenty of new growth going the way that I want it to. No little figs yet, not on the little tree and not on the big tree either. If you're wondering why I'm so surprised that this tree's pumping, it's because I had to give it a really massive prune. It was going through its netting and just creating massive holes. So pruning it back for the first time, I was so scared that it wouldn't come back, but this is, it's like nothing ever happened to it. The little strawberry patch has started to put out strawberries. They're not looking very large or very exciting um, because I mean, the leaves still really need to establish themselves, but I think I need to add some more mulch here so that none of the strawberries are on the ground. are definitely coming to an end. Snap peas or sweet peas, I'm not sure what they are. They're the variety that you can just eat straight with the shell. So they've been doing really well, but you can see that because of the rain, they're getting a bit of mildew. And also like parts like this are either not getting a lot of sun or are getting too much sun. So like this plant is done. My only cauliflower so far. I did plant another one here a little while later, so hopefully it comes up. These little volunteer pumpkins are still doing well as far as I can see. They might need some extra nutrients. Probably all the weeds around them are taking it up. So I might give them a little bit more. They'll need a little bit more water um, and we'll see how they go. It'll be really cool to see them kind of heading down the hill. Sweet potatoes, I'm not sure what to make of them so far. Like, is it just not warm enough for them? Is the soil not right for them? But they're kind of turning a weird color and they're not really doing too much. So hopefully they survive. In the new garden, I think I definitely jinxed myself when I said we only need to protect this garden from the chickens. Cause either my cat's coming through here or a wombat or something, because sometimes I'm finding the ground pretty dug out um, like I have today. Whatever it is, it's not going for my plants and they seem okay, but it's definitely mixing those wood chips into the soil, which is going to create a really carbonated experience for all of my pumpkins and my beans, and I don't want that. As far as how the pumpkins and the beans are growing, pretty well. Lots of leaves looking nice and green. I think planting the bush beans next to the pumpkins is definitely going to benefit them this year. Here so far I've got beetroots, whatever has come through here. And you can see that some of the beetroots are definitely really close together. And I think that's more so the rains have pu pulled them over rather than my bad planting. But I mean, it could be me. Cool, the little gooseberry, it seems, is putting out little flowers. And more flowers, so it's pretty happy here. Oh my gosh, whatever it was really dug up the rosella. Oh my god. Although it wasn't really coming up, so I might redo this. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a hole. So something definitely got in. This garden bed, I did plant some corn. I'll let you know whether it comes up or not. I have a feeling it's still a bit 
cool and a bit too early. My plan is that when the first lot of corn start to peak up and sprout, I'm going to plant the next bed of corn. And then again, once that sprouts, I'll plant another bed of corn and hopefully that way we won't get all of the corn at once. The blueberry's been munched on by something. My chickens did get in here the other day because we're yet to add proper chicken wire to the fence. We're still using some cardboard. Oh yes, something new and exciting is that some of our blueberries are finally ripening. Look at this. Will you be able to see them? Curry plant putting out new growth as well at the top here. Um, my dog definitely gave it a really good prune. Not cool. My borage has finally started to flower as well. Look how pretty they are. And apparently they taste like cucumbers. So I'm going to taste one. They actually do! So pretty! They're kind of flute, but that's okay. I don't think I have ever had carrots this big before. Look at them! They're huge. I might as well just pull one. This one is gigantic. Look at the leaves on it. All right. I'm waiting for disappointment. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. These parsnips did not do well. They just keep seeding. Things like this are the failures of the garden because not everything grows well and parsnips for some reason uh, sorry they're not even parsnips daikon radishes don't seem to grow well in my garden my trellis is going to be great for growing cucumber and beans and it's also really good as a tripod it seems <laughs> I can't have rice paper rolls without mint, so I'll be picking some of this too. Have a look at that homegrown pork. Yum. when they get smart. I think they went through the compost. Or I left something open. The only good chickens around here. Excuse me. At least you guys are in the compost pile. I appreciate that. But get the heck out. I reckon they either got in here. Here. Probably there actually. But I also noticed it's really droopy over here, so this might be how they got in. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, the afternoons are starting to get so hot. And my motivation really, really suffers when it gets this hot. It's about... It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I did go to the shops halfway through the day to get some supplies that we need. But as far as going out into the garden, I'm just not keen. And I know there's things I need to do. <sighs> I'm gonna go to change my top because I'm crazy for wearing long sleeves. I'm going to put cold water on every spot that I can. And then I'm going to try push and do just the wood chips, just some soil 
and some wood chips, which I already have ready and I prepared the other day. So I'm ahead of the game. All I have to do is put it down onto the ground. have energy for this one you guys I think I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow Ooh. I'm gonna get some more wood chips to finish off this garden so it doesn't dry out and then I'm gonna call it look at this hard worker yes stretchy puts 